I'm Martin, and welcome to this quick look at the Loading Screen Manager. If you're working with Unity, you probably wondered about how to actually build a loading screen. You don't want the player to just wait while you're loading your scene. Um, you kind of want a progress bar, maybe a little animation, um, anything to just know the, let the player know that you're busy doing something and he doesn't wait around wondering what the hell is happening. So at first glance it might look like something really really difficult, but it's not as hard as it uh, as it seems, and it's even easier if you have the loading screen manager. The loading screen manager is a simple script I built for my project Nowhere Profit, and it does everything you want it to do. And it's best of all, it's free. Uh, the link you can find in the description below. But um, there's a few things you need to set up properly for it to work, and we'll go through them in this video. But before we start on that, let's just take a look at how it actually works in in the game. So this is Nowhere Profit. Uh, it's a pretty simple menu. You press a new game and it's going to start a new game. It's going to load the scene. But first it's going to show us the loading screen, showing an animation, showing the progress bar, and then transitioning into the game. Let's click on new game real quick. There you see it's loading and it's done. And uh, we're in the game scene. There you go. Uh, quick, simple, painless, and it's really, really easy to put into your game. So let's look at it more closely. Here we are, and this is a pretty pristine... Uh, Unity project, it's new, there's nothing really in it, except for me having done that tutorial before and having everything here. Um, all we need for this to actually start is the loading screen manager. That's the script I've shown you just a second ago. You can see it again. And uh, then let's get started. Let's just start with a new scene. Um, create scene. This is going to be the loads loading scene. Um, this is what's being used when the actual screen is being loaded. So let's open that up. And then, what are we going to put in here? We need um, a few things for it to work. First, we need to um, use an UI canvas. I'm also at the loading scene manager uh, script here. Since we don't want any interaction, you might, because you want to click when the player is done, but for this example we don't. I'm also going to remove the raycaster, because we won't need it. So now you see the loading screen manager script. Um, it needs a bunch of visual things, has some configuration options, and um, it also wants the audio list, and I'm going to come back to that in a second. So that's a list of the loading visuals. Um, this is the part of the script you might want to customize uh, more, because these are very, very simple, but they're going to do the trick for now. So let's look at what we have. We have an icon, a done icon, a text, a progress bar, and the fade overlay. The fade overlay is um, going to do some fade to black transitions in this case, uh, that makes uh, less jarring transitions. So let's start with, with that. Uh, let's add an image, a UI image. We're going to make it black. There we go. We should hit the black and make it full size. So there we go. That's our black screen. Oh, it's going to call it fade out. Um, and I'm going to hide it because we don't need it for now. All right, then we have uh, an image that's the loading icon. We're going to take a copy of that and call it the loading done icon, which is going to be the same empty icon, except I'm going to make it red so we can see the difference later. And I'm going to put in the, let's just use this so it looks a little bit nicer. Let's take the knob. There you go. There you go. And let's give that the same thing. Input field. There we go. All right. So then we need a text. I'm going to put a text here. Uh, sp uh, line it to the bottom. Uh, oh, wait. There we go. That's more like it. And 100, uh, 50, 50, 30, center lined, bold. Excellent. So that's our loading text. I'm going to call it loading text. And then we're going to have a progress bar, which is again going to be an image. And um, the way the loading bar is going to be animated is uh, it's an image that has a fill area that's going to be uh, adjusted as the, as the loading progresses. So I'm just going to put in a sprite there, change it to filled, and I want the loading bar to go from left to right, so it's horizontal and left to right, so you can see how it kind of, how it'll fill. And I'm going to put it behind the text, like this, there we go. That's that's about it. Center that. So and the fade out should be on top, so it covers everything. Excellent. So 
Now we're gonna assign everything to the script so it knows how to control the different parts of the uh, the system and the fit. Just gonna rename the progress bar so we know what the hell it is. So, and then we're gonna turn that on again. So that's everything you need to do for the loading scene, basically. So that's gonna save that, and that's the setup for the for the scene itself. The next thing I need to do is I need to have a scene that I'm actually gonna start loading and a scene that I'm gonna load to. So let's create those. It's gonna call them start scene, and um, open that up. Don't save. Um, image. Let's just make it clear that we're in start scene. We're gonna make that one. Let's just make it blue, and add a button on top of it, kind of like this. Let's go on so like this, and this is gonna be load target scene button. So now let's look at how to actually trigger uh, the load loading screen manager. Um, I have prepared a simple script for this. This is load target screen scene button, just gonna open it up. And there you go. It's a pretty simple script. It's a public uh, method load scene number and takes a number and an integer. Um, this up here is just to check to see if the number is actually a legal one, if it's above zero and uh, below the um, amount of uh, settings you have in your build, because the number, that's the index of the scene you're going to load. And then it, all it does is it calls the static method load scene on the loading screen manager. That's everything you need to do to actually trigger the loading as you want it to. You can use that wherever you want. That's going to do everything you need to do. That's nothing else you need to plug in into your scene. So, just real quick about the build index. This is what you're going to see when you go to build settings. And then here, this number is the build index of the scene. Oops, shouldn't have moved that. Yeah. These are the test scenes I've already built to go through the tutorial. I'm going to remove all of them for now. So, okay, so that's our target scene, uh, our starting scene. And uh, as I said, now the button isn't doing anything, so I need to assign the, the script to it. So I'm going to do the loading target scene button, put it on here, and then point the, uh, the actual button to itself. And then make it load the scene number. I don't have the number yet because I don't have the target scene yet. So I don't know it's build index. So we're going to come back to that in a second. So let's save that scene and create a new scene. And that's going to be I'm actually going to du duplicate the start scene. I'm going to call it uh, target scene. And let's open it up. And that's the target scene. And this time we're going to make that here red and have the button and call it load start scene okay so now we need to add all these scenes to the build settings so we can actually reference to them so let's add the start scene and the target scene and the loading scene and now you see the numbers and now it's important to remember and memorize these numbers so we're currently in the loading scene which is red um, and we want to get to the start scene if we click on that button. So the button needs to get us to scene zero, which it does, which is correct. All right, then the start scene, when we press the same button, well, the same button in that scene, it wants, should get us to the target scene, which has number one. So we need to put in number one here. So, and if you're wondering where the hell that number two is coming from, like where does the game know that it has to load number two, that is what you're actually the single thing you need to adjust in the loading screen manager. So if we go to the loading screen manager, uh, down here there's something called the loading scene index. And with a big important warning above it, this is where you have to enter the index of the scene that has loading graphics. In this case, I've already have two in there, which is where it is. As you can see, loading scene has the index of two. And that's everything you need to do. So let's run and see if I've made any mistakes, and if not, we should be able to load from one scene to the next smoothly. So we're currently in the starting scene. If, if I click on this, we're going to see the load screen and get to the target screen. Then I can again go back to the start scene and go back to the target scene. Unfortunately, both scenes are really, really short. 
really, really uh, small. So loading is quick and you don't really see the loading bar. I'd have to add a bunch of things to make this more complicated, but trust me, it works. And that's just a quick overview of the basic setup. As said, the script is free. Feel free to download it and enjoy it. If you like it, let me know. Some positive comments go a long way to me making more of these things. Anyway, so that's it from us for today. See you around.